hi guys welcome back to this channel if it is your first time to watch video to this channel please consider subscribing and supporting this channel by either way don't forget to press that notification bell or hitting that notification bell it will be the only way that you'll be updated when i upload a new videos for the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel today i, I want to discuss this one right away because i just got a question from one person that was coming from uh, Angola uh, thank you so much aboard you are coming from Angola and the question is that what do recruitment companies need for jobs in the Gulf yes this is the first time to come across a viewer who is asking a question and coming from Angola it's really very great thank you so much for watching videos to this channel by the way something that I need to know or something I need to let you know about recruitment agencies most of these recruitment agencies have links with uh, some of the companies because some of the big companies they prefer using what you call recruitment agencies to get those eligible or those candidates that they think they have or they need for their particular positions at one way or the other but remember when we are talking about the gulf countries or what we call the Middle East countries for those that will call it uh, you know the countries I'm mentioning or the countries I'm talking about we talk about the UAE whereby when we talk about the UAE we mean Abu Dhabi we mean Dubai uh, Sharisha then we also mean other Emirates that make up Dubai make up the UAE when we look at other countries like Qatar Saudi Arabia Kuwait Bahrain and Oman all these companies have different requirements as according to what is being advertised in that company it depends on the position that you are applying for but remember it would also depend on the particular job at that very time because most of us think the recruitment agencies or they will definitely ask the same requirements as other recruitment agencies in different countries remember these are different countries and this money power or recruitment agencies are in different countries uh, remember we have in africa we have in asia and all even these continents have particular uh, particular recruitment agencies and you find that these recruitment agencies in most of these countries will have different requirements someone coming from asia will not need the same requirements as someone coming from africa there is definitely going to be a difference so as you are thinking of some of these documents also that should be put in consideration so most of the time it may not be general requirements at that particular period of time unless you will get to discuss one-on-one -on -one with that recruitment agents then it will definitely tell you what are the requirements that it needs for that particular position remember in the gulf most of what i have to let you know that most of what you call this the non-skilled or the low-skilled jobs that we have in the Gulf. For example, those that do not require a lot of requirements, do not require a lot of documentation, you will definitely find that you can have them or you can easily get them without even too much documentation at the time. What am I talking about? There are those, those jobs that definitely they will not need documentation they will only need your passport they will only need your medical they will only need uh, a few things medical report police clearance and that is what you want to have so you that's what the recruitment agents will ask for you will ask from you then probably he's going to apply for you and whenever if you get the job offer well and good and that is that is good for you remember i told you sometimes we also have to put what we call luck in one way or the other because when we're talking about luck we're talking about someone get country given a foreign country giving a visa and when we are talking about what we call a visa a visa is either to you for you to have a visa it is either a privilege or responsibility as i keep on saying how is it a privilege that not everyone can get a visa that those that have, have gone to the recruitment agencies and applied jobs and for almost six months they are not getting any any offer or they are not getting any interview and there's someone who may come in just one week a position is advertised that even good uh, that is even good compared to what someone was willing to get at a particular time and just in one week he has got an interview and, and in the second week he already has an offer letter and in the third week he's already taking off so definitely also luck is being counted it should also be counted at one moment of time in the other scenario of it all but now 
let us try particularly to look at the qualification. It will all depend, it's all going to depend on what kind of job you are applying for. What kind of position that you need as you, the person that is looking for the job. If you go to that recruitment agencies and the positions that are being, or vacancies being advertised or is recruiting people, let's say for example in the security department, in the cleaning department, let's say in the hospitality department, you as an individual, what do you want to do? Remember, I keep on telling people, or I keep on telling you, on our advise you all viewers, there are, let's say for example, if you are thinking of what we call career development and growth, let's say for example, you did an hospitality course or certificate or diploma in, in your country and there's a position that comes out and it's a, you going to be in a, a helper in the construction field and you're going to be a cleaner in a hotel or you're going to be a waitress in the hotel but because of the money you think of going to a construction that is giving you more extra 100 and you leave what you call the hospitality part of it or being a waitress or a cleaner in the hospitality uh, uh, section that gives you less than 100 what does it mean you are going to go in the construction as a helper but you did a diploma or you did a certificate in what you call hospitality that means you will not succeed as easily succeed and drive yourself to the next career because these are two different sections construction hospitality there is no room for you to get up to, the to, 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 to upgrade yourself to the next level but if you went in one scenario in another scenario that you went in hospitality field of uh, hospitality hospitality section you are cleaner there or you are a waitress there it is at a higher chances that one day or sometime depending on how best or how definitely you get to do the work you will be elevated to another position remember you are still in the same department or you're still in the same career that you pursued for your diploma or your certificate work so that one is also has to be considered in one way this is information that we are sharing with you right now and this is the time for you to get this kind of right information before we do not have such kind of information for most of us that came for the first career and it was a little bit for us to hard to divert to a new career or to divert in the career that really you think you fight or you get a what you call career growth in one way or the other so most of these recruitment agencies do not need a lot of documents first of all the one number document that we need to have as you a person who's looking for that employment purposes we are looking at your passport is number one you look at the passport itself is one thing that you should have at the end of it all then other requirements that you need to have is the medical you need to have what you call a medical uh, a medical report from your hospital from your country departure and that should be the hospital and what are we talking about the medical we are talking about the medical report that is really going to read the same when you go to that follow that golf country remember most of us we've had infections and we've had such kind of diseases that we've not treated for a long period of time so you go to a hospital or you go somewhere you false out what we call a medical report at the end of it all you put in whatever you have to put let's say for example this recruitment agents ask an input of four million you put in the four million but remember the back of your side you know the medical report that you provided to recruitment agents who is not a theological say oh he's not a hospital assistant that is not going to check it so much you will take the stamps that are on you who submit it they give a, they give you an offer letter they give you a visa you go to that country remember whenever you go to these gulf countries there is a second medical report that you suppose a medical checkup that you're supposed to do they normally talk about the sexual transmitted diseases they will check your blood they will check what hiv they also check out what you call the chest x-ray uh, 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 x-ray they will check up what you uh, stresses if you had uh, stresses of tb one more thing but this is a scenario whereby you fault in the medical report from your country departure and in this time you have a different medical report brother and my sister i'm telling you right this country will report you back to your country and what who is the loser you become the loser at the end of it all so make sure you have that medical report that is really genuine go to the hospital they give you that medical report such that you don't get disappointed in one world yeah. then still most of the companies they would request from you what you call uh, a pcc what you call a police clearance certificate they will normally want to 
to, to, to really find out which kind of person we are employing. Is this person a criminal in before? He had criminal charges. So definitely all those things that do happen and at the same time. Also, it will also depend on which country you are going. Remember, I told you that most of these Gulf countries are not the same when it comes to employment or when it comes to uh, employment purposes. There are some jobs that will require you extra documents for you to carry. My brother, if you're really that serious, and my sister, it's better if you have that certificate that you feel it can help you when you go there someday after maybe you finish your contract. Move with it. Move with it in your bag. You never know an opportunity may come when you when you come to this country and you want to elevate yourself. So move with that certificate and move with it. It will be better and it will make you that at a given period of time. So most of the jobs, some jobs, for example, if you are going to the UAE, you are going to Dubai or Abu Dhabi and you need to be a security guard, definitely you need some, some document certificate. You need some um, certificate that shows that you worked in security or you worked in any department that will enable you to get you the job in one way. We talked about Oman. Oman also has some certificate, academic certificates that you need to have. They need to see the person knows how to read and write at one and a person knows how to communicate at a given period of time or to express himself. So, so for some of the recruitment agencies, they may not be so much to me, but the media document that you should have, you should have a passport. That is number one, because no one is going to give you a visa or no way you're going to start a visa be minus a passport. Two, you should have what you call a medical report. Thoroughly checked in a official uh, your home, home country hospital. And that should be a genuine medical report. Remember? You should also have a police clearance. This is something that you can undertake. You undertake as it's not very, uh, it's not a requirement, but it should. You should have it outside of you. In case they keep on to ask it, you definitely know I can defend myself and I have this certificate with me. Then still also, some recruitment agencies, you should have commission for them. That is, of, of course, obvious. You will not go there and you don't have commission and you expect to give a, a, an empty hand. They will definitely work on those people that have the, 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 the commission or have what you call the recruitment fees for themselves, especially people who are coming from Africa, people who are coming from the Asian countries. You definitely know what I'm talking about. If you are coming from Nepal, you know how much you pay. If you are coming from Pakistan, you know how much you pay recruitment agencies. Bangladesh, you know how much you pay. Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, you know how much you pay those recruitment agencies. So make sure, number one, you have what you call a passport. That is number one. Number two, look at a medical report. You should get a medical report from the hospital. That's number two. Then also, you should look at what you call a police clearance certificate. And, and number four, which you should not forget to put in yourself or in your bag, is if you have that certificate that will enable you to succeed or move to another career, then definitely have it in one way or the other. So those are some of the important documents, or some of those are some of the main documents. If you are going to do what you call unskilled jobs, when you are going to talk about the low skills job, but if you're going to be an expert, if you are going to go in those higher profession jobs, then probably what you need to know is that at the same at the same time you you need you need you need definitely to have what you call those higher academic certificates that you need to have. You need to have those documents that are asserted that will enable you to prove that you went to school in one way or the other, but which is quite something understandable and you can have at the same time thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel remember you is max in front of you from the max creation tv thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to see how definitely we can try to elevate ourselves how we can try to improve ourselves in one way or the other thank you so much see you again in the next video.